amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. I get emails all the time about this one and that one asking me questions about them. And I, I have to say, I don't have any first-hand knowledge about all of those new cures. What I do get and when I express myself about them is when I have people sending me emails and calling me saying, it did this to me, it did that to me, or they say I got well. And then I can report on it. But I can't really faithfully take the pharmaceutical information and say it's a fact because it's usually a damn lie. I mean, I still have the boxes of interferon that I used and the inside the package insert has nine studies on it. It's pretty lengthy, pretty small type. But in that information it says it's an 83% cure. And that was in 1995. And it was a lie then, it's a lie now. So it's hard to believe those people. Most people that use interferon have insurance or they get it in a study. And uh, new information on this new triple cure. Or that uh, it's interferon with, let me read the words to make sure I get them both in Civic, which is manufactured by Vertex Pharmaceuticals, and Victrellis, which is manufactured by Merck and Company. We're both brought to market in 2011, and both of these items uh, were touted as being a 100% cure. At the time, I was living in Malibu, and the full-page ads in the Los Angeles Times, all the time, said, we have the cure. And when you're driving around listening to KNX News Radio, the commercials, one after another, we have the cure, the 100% cure. Well, this stuff doesn't cure most people. They're saying it's 70 to 80% now. It was 100 then. But this paper shows that people are dying from skin infections with the combination. And the people that call here, they aren't well. In maybe a small percentage, 2 3%. But if they're well, they're sick. They're fatigued. Uh, they have side effects that aren't going away. They're dying. Their platelets are... I had a guy call the other day that said his platelets were 2. I couldn't even believe they were that low. I think he died. Uh, the blood work these people send me, I can't understand how they're still alive. There's one man... These are, these are people that have cleared the virus? With the, with well, the some of them do and some of them don't. But well, this, this one man called the other day. He's 57. He said he was in good health and running his uh, auto body painting service in Los Angeles, Orange County. And uh, he took this just for a week. And he couldn't function anymore. And he stopped and... His doctor wants to give him blood transfusions now, and he's scared to do it. And he sent me his lab work, and his albulum went all the way down from normal, which is 4, all the way down to 2.4, which is near death. I mean, people die between 2.4 and 2.2. They almost always die then. And uh, a lot of doctors use the albulum count to determine if, if a patient's going to survive chemo or, you know, other problems in hospitals, there's tons of them, but that's just one man. And we get those calls and emails regularly. I mean, several a week. It's frightening. And I'm sitting there thinking that I have people call, like one person called today says, well, how do I know? that you're telling me the truth and how, you know, I don't know, it's hard to get the truth about these pharmaceuticals. You don't look up on the internet, I mean, sure, to say it causes different conditions, but when you listen to the people that it's happening to, it's devastating. A lot of people don't want their email posted, but the ones that say, sure, fine, we post on the lloydwright.org message board.
in interferon.ws. And how many new cures are out there? Is it just one thing to call? Oh, no, that was... Is it, is it several cures now? That was 2011-12. That was the big one. What was that? What was the name of that one? It's called uh, Incivic and Victrellis. I think those are both a similar drug by a different manufacturer. And they are combined with you know, ribovarian and interferon. And that's the triple therapy that you hear a lot about. There's, there's a lot of them right now. There's another one that was uh, made by Pharmacet, which was then purchased by Gilead, which then went into business with Bristol-Myers Squibb. And that one actually worked. I had two clients that did that. They both got well in about two weeks. Both of them are happy didn't have any side effects. <clears throat> and both of those people consumed a huge amount of that cell during that trial. They have no complaints, but now there's reports that people are going blind from it, that people are dying from it, that it causes bone marrow damage. And uh, I, I don't know how bad off it is. I know they stopped a lot of the trials. In fact, the FDA suspended all trials on that particular category of drug except the one by Gilead. And it's hard to decipher the exact reason because there's volumes and volumes of paperwork if you can find it. And it's all written in a way that's difficult to understand what it is they're saying. <clears throat> all I know is they keep calling it the cure. And I keep hoping for it, but I've been hearing this very same story over and over again since 1995. And I have yet to see this cure. They say they're working, but I don't know yet. They also say interferon works, but I know that's not true. I know it can, but it doesn't usually. And the damage it does is almost always overwhelming. I was told I wasn't going to make it for more than three to five years in 1995. So uh, living proof you can do well if you take care of yourself. which I don't do completely, but I work on it. <laughs>